Hi, in this second presentation, we'll see the real time that the direct osmosis cleaning requires. This backwash of RO and NF membranes can be done every morning for one minute without stopping the high pressure pump, sort of like brushing your teeth. The DOHS technology keeps RO membranes continuously clean instead of having to implement harsh chemical cleaning after weeks of buildup. The net driving force diagram below presents a normal seawater desalination process. Let's start with the direct osmosis cleaning. When the pump and RO train are in normal operation, a few gallons of concentrated table salt are injected into the suction site of a high pressure pump. 30 seconds is the maximum injection time used for seawater application. For brackish water, it'll be between 5 to 15 seconds only. Several changes have to be done to a PLC program. First, keep the same high pressure feed conditions. Second, control permeate backflow into pressure vessels. And third, control the right reject flow movement with fouling out from pressure vessels. In the oval below, it's clear that the net driving force is redirected from a reverse osmosis to a direct osmosis process. The permeate moves from a permeate channel into a feed channel. The fouling lifts up, mixes with reject flow, and is evacuated to drain. The technology is approved by all main RO membrane manufacturers and by the Health Department of California and successfully implemented in 11 SWRO, BWRO, and wastewater RO plants. It's patented in the USA, Australia, Israel, and Singapore. If you're interested in more details, please ask us. And thank you for your attention.